tricks to write tensor transformation law. The contraparent tensor of rank 1, 2, 3 are given by a prime upper suffix i equal to del x prime i divided by del x alpha into a upper suffix alpha. The second order contraparent tensor is given by a prime upper suffix ij equal to del x prime i divided by del x alpha into del x prime j divided by del x beta into a upper suffix alpha beta. And the third rank contraparent tensor is given by a prime ijk is equal to del x prime i divided by del x alpha into del x prime j divided by del x beta into del x prime k divided by del x gamma into a upper suffix alpha beta gamma. Now to write the rank 1 contravariant tensor a prime upper suffix i equal to del x prime i by del x alpha into a alpha at first write a prime i equal to del x by del x into a. In the second step, you write a prime i equal to del x prime i divided by del x into a. We have to give prime in the upper suffix because we are going to write contraparent tensor. So, it is equal to del x prime i divided by del x a into a. Again, in the next step, you write a prime i is equal to del x prime i divided by del x alpha into a upper suffix alpha. Now, this alpha you can replace by any other suffix other than i. So, if you want to replace alpha by a, then it will be del x a into a upper suffix a. Or you can write del x m into a upper suffix m. That means non dash term will be on the denominator and the dash term will be in the numerator. For the second rank contravariant tensor, a prime upper suffix ij equal to del x prime i divided by del x alpha into del x prime j divided by del x beta into a alpha beta at first write a prime ij equal to del x by del x into del x by del x into a. We have to write del x by del x two times because the rank of the contraparent tensor is 2. In the next step, you write a prime ij is equal to del x prime i by del x into del x prime j divided by del x into a. So, we need to give the primes in the numerator because we are going to write the contraparent tensor. So, del x prime i and del x prime j will be in the numerator. In the next step, a prime ij will be equal to del x prime i divided by del x alpha into del x prime j divided by del x beta into a alpha beta. That means alpha beta you can replace by any other suffix other than i and j. For the third rank contraparent tensor a prime upper suffix ijk equal to del x prime i divided by del x alpha into del x prime j divided by del x beta into del x prime k divided by del x gamma into a upper suffix alpha beta gamma. At first we have to write a prime ijk is equal to del x by del x into del x by del x into del x by del x into a. We have to write del x by del x three times because this is a contraparent tensor of rank 3. In the next step we have to write a prime ijk is equal to del x prime i divided by del x into del x prime j divided by del x again del x prime k divided by del x into a. So, we have to write all the primed terms in the numerator because it is a contraparent tensor. In the next step, a prime ijk will be equal to del x prime i divided by del x alpha, del x prime j divided by del x beta 
and del x prime k divided by del x gamma again into a upper suffix alpha beta gamma. So, alpha beta gamma will be in the upper suffix because this is a contravariant tensor. This alpha beta gamma can be replaced by any other suffix other than i j k. You can replace alpha beta gamma by a b c or p q r or l m n. So, dash terms will be in the numerator and non dash terms will be in the denominator. So, this is the third rank contravariant tensor. Again, if the third rank contravariant tensor is given in the form a upper suffix alpha beta gamma is equal to del x alpha by del x prime i del x beta by del x prime j into del x gamma by del x prime k again into a prime upper suffix i j k. That means non dash term is on the left hand side and the dash term is on the right hand side. So, how to write this type of contravariant tensor transformation? So, at first you write a upper suffix alpha beta gamma and again you have to write del x by del x three times because this is a contravariant tensor of rank 3 again into a. In the next step you write a upper suffix alpha beta gamma which will be equal to del x alpha by del x, del x beta by del x, del x gamma by del x because on the left hand side the upper suffixes are alpha beta gamma so this will go in the numerators of del x. So, it is del x alpha, del x beta, del x gamma on the right hand side. Again in the next step of a upper suffix alpha beta gamma, the dest terms will be in the denominator and again on the right hand side. So, it is given by del x alpha by del x prime i, del x beta by del x prime j, again del x gamma by del x prime k into again a prime upper suffix i j k. So, this is from the non dest terms to the dest terms or non primed to primed. In the same way, we can write transformation law for covariant tensor. For example, let us consider third rank covariant tensor a prime lower suffix i j k equal to del x a by del x prime i del x b by del x prime j del x c by del x prime k into a lower suffix a b c. At first we write a prime lower suffix i j k equal to del x by del x three times into a. In the next line we write a prime lower suffix i j k equal to del x by del x prime i del x by del x prime j into del x by del x prime k into a. So, prime terms will be on the denominator because this is a covariant tensor. In the next step a prime i j k equal to del x a by del x prime i del x b by del x prime j into del x c by del x prime k into a lower suffix a b c. So, a b c will go in the numerator because the prime times are in the denominator that is i j and k. Here also you can replace a b c by any other suffix. For example, you can replace a b c by alpha beta gamma l m n or p q r or any other suffix other than i j k. Proceeding in the same way, we can write transformation law for mixed tensor. For example, let us consider third rank mixed tensor. A prime upper suffix i lower suffix j k is equal to del x prime i divided by del x a into del x b by del x prime j into del x c by del x prime k into a upper suffix small a and lower suffix small b c. At first, we write a prime upper suffix i lower suffix j k is equal to del x by del x three times into a because this is also a mixed tensor of rank three. In the next step, 
a prime upper suffix i lower suffix j k is equal to del x prime i divided by del x into del x divided by del x prime j into del x divided by del x prime k into a. Here i will go in the numerator because i is the upper suffix and j and k will go in the denominator because j and k are the lower suffix. In the next step, a prime upper suffix i lower suffix j k, this will be equal to del x prime i divided by del x a into del x b by del x prime j into del x c by del x prime k into a upper suffix a and lower suffix b c. So, a small a will go in the denominator and b c will go in the numerator. So, this is the transformation law for third rank mixed tensor.